My favorite way to spin behind somebody is keeping that chin strap. I'm gonna show you guys why I like it. Right inside here, this is important. I'm gonna show it to you guys in both ways, okay? I'm gonna pressure into the person, right? And when I snap them down, I'm gonna hang on to that chin strap. Right now, I can only reach towards his knee, but I wanna get his far leg. So what I'm gonna do after I hit that snap, right? So I pressure in, snap, I got him to this position. I'm going to keep my arm on his chin and slide my body up his leg as I step at the same time. I'm gonna swim my arm in his leg. I'm not looking to grab anything, I'm just swimming it in. Just like with the single leg, when I snake the leg so he couldn't rotate away, I'm catching this so he can't spin away or sit out. It's trapped, I'm not grabbing, my palm is just facing out and I'm just extending. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my knees, guys, as I stay on this chin. And what I do here is I bring my elbow to my ribs and I reverse curl his chin right inside here. If he's good and he doesn't fight, it's just a little bit of pressure, but the more he tries to fight, the more I'm gonna crank on it. And with his head stuck like this and this right here, this stops him from sitting out and being able to turn towards his back, turning away from me by kicking his leg through, but this chin strap stops him from being able to turn into me. So he can't turn in because I'm holding that chin strap. And it's just a couple of fingers in this reverse curl. So inside here, guys, I'm gonna use this, okay? If I know I have someone who's good at inverting, I, I'd like to, I can go tight waist, but if you're worried about people rolling under and going for that leg lock and stuff like that, what you can do is extend them forward. So I grab here, and I'm going to push his head forward to break him flat. And then I can work towards my back take inside here. Yeah, build it up. <clears throat> Just to control that position. So you guys can see it from this view, okay? I'm inside here, I got to my snap down position. Okay, I pressured in, I snapped, his elbow hit the floor. I slide up the body and turn, and my elbow stays in so I can rotate the chin. Try to sit out and turn towards them. They can't sit out and turn because I have this leg here. Try to sit and turn into me. He can't because I have this chin. And if he's fighting and being resistive, I'm gonna crank on this a little bit. It's not enough to hurt him or injure him, but it's very uncomfortable because the neck is twisted. He's very weak, he has no power there. So I like to keep the chin, Hook the leg, this stops him from going inverted. I'll catch this wrist, then I can fight underneath. I don't have to worry about those guys who are gonna try to roll underneath my leg and I have really good control, okay? If I'm in this position and I don't wanna hook that leg, okay, I like to extend just to get him flat because it will buy me a little bit more time with getting in this position. But you guys can also go right to turtle. So if I'm inside here and you guys are like this, you guys can come and get right to your turtle position, your seatbelt position. So I'm from the feet, okay? I snap him to the ground. As soon as that elbow hits the ground, okay? Pressure, snap, I slide up. And you see how as I slide up, I punch my elbow down and I'm doing a reverse curl and I just catch this foot. This buys me a lot of time and a lot of control. He can't turn away. If he's loose, I keep it loose. If he starts to fight and fight out, I'm gonna crank a little bit more while I build my position. I'm not gonna let that go until I feel like I'm in a position where I'm comfortable. Keep that head sideways. Twists a lot, right? It's not fun. <laughs>